Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're building a cafe library. The footage that you're seeing right now was live streamed on Twitch. Um, just a quick plug on that if you guys want to hang out and chat while we play games or um, watch me draw art, um, please feel free to join me over at Black Eyed Toast on Twitch. Right. So the concept of the island is, I've decided that it's going to be kind of dark academia. So think Harry Potter, but more gothic and no magic. For this particular build, um, like always, I have no plan, but I had an idea of what it needed to be. So the objective for this building was so that I could make some something to look at when standing at a viewpoint that I'll occasionally go up to see during the speed build. Um, the concept was to have a two-tier building um, so that you can see a little bit of like height difference when looking at it from the viewpoint. I didn't really plan out this area well, so I didn't know how many squares I needed. I ended up making it far too big, so you can see me shrink a lot of it as the speed build progress. I'm still very awkward with using the new castle and medieval walls, um, even though I know their numbers, you saw the viewpoint just then, um, even though I know how many squares they take up, I don't know how well they uh, kind of merge together and I think this was a primary struggle uh, when building this area. This stream ended up being about six hours long including all the distractions that come with streaming and such, stuff like that so um, I've cut out quite a bit as you can imagine. I think this plant par partisan partition, sorry, is one of my favorite items of the new update. But it was disheartening to find out that they were full square items. I thought they were half blocks and was super excited about it. So the reason why I pushed it all the way back here was so that I could leave a full square gap between the fencing and the edge of the wall and pond. I'm gonna try and incorporate, like, I'm gonna try and make all of my buildings and areas accessible to villagers because I kind of like the idea of them um, being able to interact with the things I build on the island. This time around, I also tried to use the default flooring as much as I could. Obviously, um, not all of it. <laughs> I used the brick path quite a bit, but the stone path and the wood, I, I really love the sound that it makes. It's a shame that it doesn't um, translate through the custom design, but I guess that's the limitation we're working with. Uh, uh, please excuse the blood and the eyes that occasionally pop up during this speed build. Um, those are part of my stream and, well, that's a whole other thing. So this area I'm kicking the floor for, um, is going to be the library uh, element to this building. So at the ground level, which is actually the second story up, um, will be the cafe, and up here will be the library. I 
I think it's quite hilarious um, that this castle was only meant to kind of surround resident services, but as I keep working, the castle keeps growing, and I think this is quite natural, but also really expensive because those castle items are very, very pricey, and I'm losing bells. A lot of bells. I make a lot of placement mistakes in this build. It's really hard for me to um, gauge the depth. Um, I didn't know that I was half a block off. I should have known because I can see the edge of that flooring peeking through, but... I love these um, new like wall items in general, all the new items that came out, but now I'm starting to fear uh, becoming too reliant on them. <laughs> I don't know if that's a feeling or kind of concern that you guys have for your islands and your builds, but it was definitely something I ended up thinking about quite a lot. So the back wall here is where I completely did not count squares and it ended up that I couldn't fit what I wanted. So the initial idea was to have the entire back wall covered with these bookshelves, but the numbers just don't add up. So my only option is to increase the size of this thing again or work something else out. I chose the latter in the end. friends. <laughs> so I opted for the gate and I think it's really cute to use these custom designed simple panels as like mock doors. Um, the only downside to them is that they're quite short so they don't quite cover the entire height of the castle gate. Um, I ended up using a fence to help offset that gap. you can see. I spent quite a bit of time here trying to make a library layout that looked like full but usable, something that you know characters could interact with, like plenty of seating areas and stuff like that. I found it quite challenging considering how small of a space it was. Actually it's not too small is it considering Animal Crossing you'll see me go back and forth a lot and um, you may notice that some areas are more done up than I've showed in the speed build um, like I mentioned before this was a six hour stream and I try to cut out a lot of the bits that didn't end up working out. So um, this bit right here is kind of how it ended up looking um, at the final. <laughs> as of as of now, like of course, um, I did go back the day after I've recorded and streamed this to make some edits because. I think it's important to approach projects with fresh eyes. If you've looked at the same thing for so long, it's really hard to kind of know um, what you like and don't like about it. And I think that goes for anything that you create or work on, even if it's like a problem, 
a math problem. I opted for a blue rug and I think it's a much better choice. It stands out a bit more. Outside, just a few stalls. Um, I imagine it's owned by the same place, but um, maybe have different staff working on the outside. This corner little nook uh, ate up a lot of time, and at one point there was a tree in the library. I think I might go back to uh, a layout that I did here. Um, over what I ended up going with. It's interesting to see how... Um, <laughs> I guess how your opinions change. this bit was very frustrating to watch for anybody uh, so much back and forth but I think I'm quite happy um, I was quite happy with how it turned out just a little bit of editing decided against this iron fence actually this moment right here is when I found out that the part plant partisans were not half squares ah disappointing still love them though, they're, be they're a beautiful item. We're almost done with the speed build, just a few more outdoor items. Though I love the look of these tables, um, I find them quite hard to work with. And here we go! enjoyed this very uh, choppy video. Um, I know there's a lot of changes in the final result, but I appreciate you watching and sticking around till the end. Thank you guys so so much. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and I will see you next time. Goodbye!